Hello everyone, how are you all? Hope you all are doing great. So in this class, we are going to discuss question number 11 of your paper 1 of your set A of the year 2023. Okay, so what this question is saying, this question is saying that if a random variable x follows binomial distribution with parameter n whose value is given 10 and p whose value is given 1 by 4, then what is the value of third cumulant of you have to find the value of third cumulant of this y is equal to 10 minus x so basically first thing is that we have to find the distribution of this y then after that we will use some of the properties to find the cumulant is there is there are many ways to find the cumulant you can use the formula of cumulant you can use some of the properties to find the value of the cumulant you can use any of the method which suits you which seems easy to you okay now, before, because I know the distribution of this y already, uh, it is uh, like, uh, it is a property you can say. So, but I'm not going to tell you the directly, I'm going to tell you the derivation of this, that how I am getting the values, the PDF of this y, right? So, for that, I'm going to tell you by taking a general example. So, now, suppose if you have given x, uh, which is following your binomial distribution with parameter nb. So, what this x is representing here? x is representing here the number of success in n independent trials. So, you have, suppose you have n independent trials and x is representing, suppose this portion is representing x, right? And x is representing the number of success. So, I am writing here the number of success in this n independent trial so obviously we are left with another part so i'm going to consider it as y and this is representing the number of failures right so it is clear from here that x plus y will be equal to n this is representing number of success this is representing the number of failure is equal to n so the value of y will be n minus x which is written here right you can see n is this and at the place of uh, at the place of this x we are having this x okay so from here <coughs> what we can do we have to think that if y is representing the number of failures so what what we always consider as the probability of success we always consider that the probability of success is p and the probability of failure is q but if y is representing the number of failures in these n independent trials uh, with probability this q then that means y is also following your binomial distribution with parameter n and q right because the probability of the failure is always q so this is one way to find the distribution of this y okay now i'm going to use the second method this is the first method now what is the second method to understand to get y, uh, to get the distribution of this y now i'm going to take the help of mgf okay now uh, and one more thing i would like to tell you all that i am providing live classes uh, these are the paid classes and uh, paid classes for iss so if you would like to join you can directly contact me on instagram or, and from the instagram if you want more inquiry you can contact me on whatsapp right you can see the reviews the students are liking it very well there is a high demand of the live classes right in the live classes uh, i am providing you the detail from the basic if you are not very good and the statistic is still you will be uh, you will love my classes right you're gonna love it because i am telling a basic concepts from zero to infinite like that okay so i am not praising myself you can see the reviews of my students who are really taking my live classes okay so you will also like it so do let me know if you want to join and now coming to the method number second so what this method says that i am going to take the help of the mgf so mgf of this y can be written as expectation e to the power t y what is the value of y the value of y is n minus x so first of all i'm taking n minus x so n minus x right now from here what i can do i am going to separate the values e to the power t n into e to the power minus t of x right so here you can see it is a constant value i can take it outside e to the power n t and expectation e to the power minus t of x now what we can write how um, we can write this term in terms of mxt again so i'm writing mx but we have minus also so i'm writing mx minus t okay now what you all have to do we have e to the power nt now use because we have it has written mgf of x 
but at the place of t we have to use minus t so remember what is the mgf of binomial distribution because x is following binomial distribution the mgf of binomial distribution is q plus p e to the power t but accordingly we have to use this here but at the place of t we have to use minus t so i am writing q q then p p e to the power minus t because we are having minus t here okay now i am going to rearrange some of the values this is q this is p upon to the power t again taking lcm e to the power nt we have q e to the power t plus we have this p okay also what we have we have in the denominator e to the power t okay and one more thing i forget to tell you that it is your binomial distribution so we always have power n power n power n and power n okay so from here what we can write you can see we have e to the power t and e to the power this we have also because this is in the denominator if i am separating it outside so there will be power n also so we are having this value we can cancel out this from this and what we have we have this value so i'm going to rearrange in terms like that so that i can get the more clarity we have p separate and e to the power t with the q right so if you're going to compare it because this is the mgf of x so we have q plus p e to the power t so that means this is the probability of success right that means whatever is along with this e to the power t is the probability for success that means uh, it should be put in the in this notation of binomial distribution so similarly along with this e what we are having this time we are having this q so that means what we can write y will follow your binomial distribution with parameter n and q now this time we have to take q because at the place with this e to the power t we are having this q so these are two different method you can use any of them which you like and which seems easy to you right now just by uh, just by knowing this concept what we have to find this is representing binomial distribution the distribution of y minus 10 so now i'm going to write here y will this y will follow binomial distribution with parameter with parameter 10 and q this is your p q means 3 by 4 right okay now what the question is what the main question is asking you the question is asking you to find the third cumulant right it is asking you the third cumulant so just by using a property you all know that the third cumulant is also equal to the third central moment so third central moment of binomial distribution what is the formula of this third central moment for binomial distribution it is n p q inside the bracket 1 minus 2 p right 1 minus 2 p so you have to use this formula so that is why i am telling you all in all the videos that make a short note copy and write down all the important points all important uh, information about all the distributions like learn all the mean the formula of mean the formula of variances and yes the it is also available on my instagram account you can check out i have written all the pdfs along with their ranges i have written there i have posted all the uh, like formulas of variances all the formulas of mean if you can uh, like if you uh, want to see that one just follow me on instagram i will be providing important stuff there okay so this is the formula of your third central moment now what is the value of n the value of n is 10 what is the value of p the value of p is 1 by 4 the value of q is your 3 by 4 then 1 minus 2 the value of p is 1 by 4 okay now what you all have to do just solve it i am giving you a time of two minutes not a two minutes i'm giving you a time for like 15 seconds just solve it and let me know the final answer This is just a simple calculation. This is just a simple calculation. You all have to do it. Right. So this is the value of P which is 3 by 4. Now what we can do here. We can cancel out some of the values. This is 3 by 4. 6 by 4. So we can cancel out. So finally I am getting minus 15 by 16 which is given in the option number A. So that means option A is the correct option. For this question number 11, option A is the correct option. Hope you all like this solution. Do let me know if you want to join my live classes. Just contact me on Instagram and uh, use my WhatsApp number for more information. Thank you all of you for watching it. Have a nice day.